Hello, we are going to be continuing our theme of balloons today. And in fact, we're actually doing even more hot air balloons just in a little different way. So I can't wait for you guys to see this. Our first step is we need to pick out a background color for our scene. It's going to be the sky, but you get to choose. Is it going to be like midday blue sky or maybe it's white and cloudy? Maybe it's going to be like a sunrise or sunset and it's a orange or yellow up to you. But pick out that background color piece of paper first. I've chose a sort of soft blue for mine. Now we need to choose five more colors that we're going to be using for our hot air balloon. I'm going to just show you the example of the hot air balloon I've made so far. So I've got orange, blue, green, yellow, red, but you get to choose whichever colors you would like for your hot air balloon. Okay. So once you've got your colors chosen, and definitely you can feel free to use some of the scrap paper if you've got some left over from the other projects. So I'm actually using a scrap piece of paper for this, but I'm folding in half hot dog style, so the long skinny way. From there, you guys can use pencil. I'm gonna use Sharpie marker so you can see it better on camera, but I'm gonna draw a half of a teardrop shape like this with just a little bit extra down at the bottom that's going to give us this part of our hot air balloon where the where the flame goes up into the balloon to make it rise so i'm going to hold this up here you can kind of see what that looks like so upside down teardrop with just a little extra at the end and feel free to pause this if you want to check out that shape a little longer all right next i'm going to cut that out and this, just like we've been doing, is going to serve as the template for me to draw on my other colors of pieces of paper um, and to cut those out. That way they're all matching as much as possible anyway. So there we go. So once again, I would fold my other colors of, piece of pieces of paper, um, draw this on and cut it out so we've got them all matching. Now I already, since it's a video and you don't want me watch, or you don't want to watch me cutting out five of them, um, I already have the other four ready to go. So the next step, once I've got all five of them cut out and ready to go, is we need to glue them together. So let's see, what order do I want them in? That's the next thing to decide, isn't it? Maybe I'll have them go. like this. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to do glue on half of the first color that I'm choosing. Remember to get all the way to those edges so that it sticks together. So see I'm doing it on half, then I'm lining up the next color. And I always like to line it up in the middle where the folds are. I feel like that works the best. So I'm lining it up there and then I kind of pinch around on the outside. Now if you notice like mine that there's maybe a little bit extra on one side or the other, if that bothers you, you can always go ahead and just trim off any of that extra to make your lines even, but you don't have to. It's only if it bothers you, you can do that. Or maybe if there's a lot sticking out. All right, so now I've got two of them glued together to glue on the rest of them so you guys can be gluing right along with me we're gluing half of each at a time for right now until we're ready for the last one and always remember it's easiest I think to start at that center and then pinch it on the outer parts after that okay I'm gonna attach my fourth color getting all the way to those edges and attaching that one and time for the last one Go there. the fifth one now just so you know you really could do this with as few as three balloons uh, maybe as many as seven or nine you could probably add a whole bunch of them if you want your balloon to have a little bit more volume to it 
So that would always be an option, but I think five is really quite a nice number for this. So that's what I decided to go with for mine. But remember, this is your art, so you can definitely tweak it and change it. So the next thing I'm going to do then, once I've got it, open that up, there we go, it's kind of sticking together there. Once I've got it all together like this, we want to keep the back half open because this is where we're going to put our glue next. And I'm going to just flip it over because I already started on here. So I'm going to put the glue on both sides just like this, over on the one side, and again on the other. And once I've got it on both sides really, really well, I am going to glue it on down. Now you can see I've already drawn the strings on yours. They wouldn't quite be there yet. But once we've got it glued down nicely, we're going to take our Sharpie marker and go ahead and draw some strings coming down off of our balloon. I also like to add in some birds. So I just do kind of like the arched V to draw the birds in the background. You could add in a sun. I am definitely going to add in some of my clouds. I actually have some left over from yesterday, so I'm going to use some of those, but you can always cut out new ones if you didn't have any leftovers from yesterday or you didn't save them. But I happen to have some, so we're going to put those clouds on in. Let's see, I have that one go there. So I might add them in a few different spots. Maybe a cloud will go up there too. And then the last thing, we of course need a basket. So you could either use your Sharpie to draw it and color it in, you could paint it in, you could cut out another piece of colored paper and glue that in. What I actually chose to do was I took some cardboard that I had in my recycling bin and I peeled back the top layer, which reveals this really cool texture. And I love that. I thought that would look really cool for my basket. And I dropped the little piece here. It is. So there's the one that I cut out then, out of here. You can see there it was, cut on out. So then I would glue this on next. And of course I can add as many clouds as I want to, or anything else that you want added to yours as well. Maybe you have a flying unicorn in the sky. Maybe you have um, the sun, all kinds of fun ideas that you can add to yours to make it unique and make it your own. Once you're done with it, if you are up for it, definitely feel free to take a picture and add it to our art hall of frame because I want to see how these turn out. Hope you enjoy.